Hi besties, welcome to the Bliss Mindset Personal Training Channel. I'm Leah Bliss, helping you live your best life, mind, body, and soul. Happy Wednesday, Witchy Wednesday. I hope you are so happy to make it halfway through your week. I wanna to talk to you today about using tarot cards in meditation and mindfulness. So I think tarot cards for a lot of people are kind of scary, mostly because we just don't know anything about them. And with most things that we don't know a lot about, they tend to frighten us. So there is a lot you can do with tarot cards. And I don't necessarily believe that they are gateways to another world or that they're gonna tell the future or the people that use them are somehow extra tapped into being able to tell your future or communicate with spirits. I think that a lot of times it's just a way for us to raise our level of consciousness and to be aware of different things that maybe aren't totally at the forefront of our minds. So as an example, I wanna show you a three card morning spread that you can do with any tarot deck, anytime, just to kind of get your mind thinking about different things throughout the day. You put yourself in this meditative space and think, all right, what does, what does my day look like? What things? Does my higher power, does my higher consciousness, does my higher self want me to know, want me to think about? And then you draw three cards. The first one is the theme of the day. So the theme of the day, here. The second card is good news about the day. And the third card is your highest energy for the day. So, you can take a look at the cards. A lot of tarot decks have, whether it's instructions or just information on what the cards mean. So for me, what I've pulled this morning, the theme of the day, 10 of pentacles. Pentacle is related to earth energy, very grounding, very practical, finance, home, wealth, career, all of these things. So that's what I'm looking at for the theme of my day today. So my second card is good news about the day. And even though sword cards are generally in reference to aggression and conflict movement, it can be good news because a lot of times the universe will put up blocks to keep us from going in directions that are gonna be fruitless. The universe wants the best for us. And whether your version of your higher power is your higher self or God, or the universe, what have it, I truly believe that the greater goodness in the universe does want us to be happy and successful to the highest level that we're able. And so sometimes it's a detour in the right direction. I know Gabby Bernstein says that a lot and I have really fallen in love with that concept. So there may be a conflict or something that binds me today but that's actually going to be the good news and it's going to put me back on track towards what I need to be working on. For the third card, it's the five of pentacles. And as I said before, pentacles really represent home affairs, family, finance, career. And the five of pentacles really speaks to a lack mentality. And so my highest energy for the day isn't that I'm going to have lack mentality, but it's a sign to ward against it, to make sure that I'm aware all day long to not fall into that lack mentality. So this doesn't necessarily, when you pull a quote unquote bad card, it doesn't have to mean that bad things are going to happen. It can be that your higher consciousness is trying to tell you to raise your vibration. And so that's what I'm seeing a lot with this spread is that there's a lot of focus on the home and the finances and the career path and that I may be getting a detour in the right direction, but I need to make sure that I'm raising my vibration and not sinking down to that fear and that lack mindset because nothing magical happens when we're afraid and fearful and focusing on all the things that we don't have. So. That is my message for today. 
So I'll be totally honest, I feel pretty called out by that reading. So I know that I need to keep my vibration high and make sure that I'm not falling into that fear and that lack mentality throughout the rest of my day, which is an awesome reminder. And if anything, it's just a re-emphasis of the things that I already know, but that it's nice to be reminded of. If you have any questions on how this works or where you can get great tarot cards, go ahead and send me a message, send me an email. I'll list all of my contact information below. If you are interested in a tarot reading, I do use them in my free 30 minute coaching sessions and I use them through all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So just as a, a reminder where to put our energies and things. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and send me a message on Facebook or shoot me an email or jump down and I will leave my scheduling link in the description below. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see y'all soon.